Arthroscopic surgery is a surgical technique that allows your surgeon to look and work inside your shoulder through very small incisions. Some of the benefits of arthroscopy of the shoulder include a shorter recovery time and less pain after the surgery compared to surgical techniques that use a large incision on the shoulder. A long, thin fiber optic camera called an arthroscope will send high definition video images to a screen in the operating room. Your surgeon will use these images to perform the surgery. The rotator cuff is made from four tendons that cover the ball of the shoulder joint. They are attached to the muscle on one end and the bone on the other end. When the muscles contract, the rotator cuff pulls your shoulder in all the directions that you want to move it. If one of the tendons is torn, the other tendons will have to work harder to do the same movement. If the tear is large, patients may not be able to rotate the arm at all. Your surgeon will have to put sutures through the tendon to reattach it to the bone. Without surgery, the tendon will not heal. If you have any bone spurs, they will be removed during surgery. If the AC joint is causing pain, your surgeon will remove a small portion of the end of the clavicle. If the biceps tendon becomes worn or partially torn, your surgeon will reattach the tendon outside the shoulder joint or simply release it if the tendon is too badly damaged for repair. In order to make an informed decision, you need to fully understand the risks, the benefits, and the alternative treatments to surgery. Benefits of the procedure include pain relief, increased strength, and repair of the tendon, which will not heal without surgery. However, some risks do exist. The most common are persistent pain, failure of the tendon to heal, and frozen shoulder. Rare risks include infection, nerve or vessel injury, stroke, arthritis, and permanent loss of shoulder function. As an alternative, physical therapy can provide pain relief, but the tendon will not heal with this treatment. On the day of surgery, you will want to wear comfortable clothes, including a button-up shirt, so that you will not have to lift your arm after surgery. Upon arrival, you will change into a gown and receive an IV. Both nurses and physicians will perform safety checks by repeatedly asking you to state your name and other basic information, as well as asking you to mark the shoulder that will be repaired. Though this may seem repetitive, rest assured that it is for your safety. You will then be given a nerve block to control pain during and after the procedure. During the surgery, you will remain completely asleep and will wake up in a recovery room. Once the anesthetic wears off, you can have something to drink and have a small snack. You will need someone to take you home and they will need to stay with you overnight. You will be given pain prescriptions after your surgery to take home with you. It is very important that you follow all the instructions provided by your doctor in order to ensure that the rotator cuff repair remains intact. You will follow up with your surgeon in 10 to 14 days after your surgery. At that time, you will be given instructions for the type of physical therapy that you will be doing. You will be able to resume normal activities six months to a year after surgery. If you have any other questions or concerns, do not hesitate to bring them up with your physician.